Ladies and gentlemen, what if I told you the FBI used CNN research to investigate Trump? What if I said that? You'd say, oh, H.A. Goodman, what are you doing? The FBI would never use CIA, uh, CNN research to investigate Trump. That's crazy. That would never, ever happen. This is the United States of America, not some dictatorship where political rivals simply frame and set up their opponents with the help of media that they control. That would never happen. Oh, what's this? Steele says he used unverified information to support details about web company and dossier CNN. But this is important because today, President Trump brings this out into the open. He talked about the Steele dossier, crooked Hillary, all of these things. Clinton purchasing the Steele dossier, a newly released snippet of a, de a deposition with the ex British spy behind the Trump-Russia dossier describes some of the steps he took to verify information. Well, what did he do? Including pulling from a user-generated citizen journalism initiative by CNN. What? What? Which no longer operates. I report which no longer operates. What was that? Are you kidding me? Christopher Steele admitted during a lawsuit deposition that he used internet searches and unverified information to support details he had gathered about a web company mentioned in the dossier, according to select pages. Okay, not only is the Steele dossier verified, unverified, sorry, but how he, how he tried to verify the Steele dossier is also hilarious. Steele testified that he... He used a 2009 article from the crowdsourced news site CNNI Report, for instance, to check information he learned about Webzilla, one of the three related entities that he sued Buzz that, that had sued BuzzFeed for defamation. BuzzFeed published the dossier in full, explained, explaining they hadn't verified it on January 10, 2017, after CNN reported that President Obama and President-elect Donald Trump had been briefed about it. Why would you intimidate, investigate, and fabricate all of this simply because Trump won. It's so overt. Look, everyone knows, even people on the left. When asked if he had an understanding of what the CNN report was, Steele said he did not know. So he used a CNN report that he didn't. He had no idea like what it was about. When asked if he had an understanding of what the CNN I report was, Steele said he did not know. It was he. He didn't. He didn't understand it was a crowdsourced thing that anybody could just post on. He thought the information on the site had some kind of CNN status, albeit that it may, it may be an independent person posting on the site. He didn't, he didn't even use a CNN journalist, which wouldn't have been um, credible anyway. Steele said during the deposition, CNN I report was a, se a separate citizen journalism initiative from CNN's editorial news service that allows users to contribute stories, photos, or videos, etc. Look, look. Do you want to know what the Steele dossier says? Here's a U.S. presidential election. Republican candidate uh, Donald Trump's activities in Russia and compromising relationship with the Kremlin. Russian regime has been cultivating, supporting, and assisting Trump for at least five years. No evidence of that. AIM endorsed. This is the actual BuzzFeed news. This is the documents they published. AIM endorsed by Putin has been encouraged splits and divisions in Western alliance. <laughs> no evidence of that either. Uh, cultivated by Putin, if, for example, if, for example, Trump and his administration has a different policy towards NATO, that doesn't mean that Putin sponsored it. You can't simply disagree with your political rival and say, oh my God, their difference of opinion is endorsed by our enemies. Ah, and I have a dossier that says so. That makes no sense at all. So far, Trump has declined various sweetener uh, sweetener real estate business deals offered to him uh, so far has declined various uh, for the Kremlins to cultivate him for the Kremlin to uh, Kremlins to cult cultivation of him however he and his inner circle have accepted a regular flow of intelligence from the Kremlin wrong never happened never happened including his December his democratic and political rivals never happened never happened now Natalia Vasilinskaya by the way has no link to Putin zero link you want to know how I know because Loretta Lynch allowed her into the country with a special visa. 
And she met before and after with, with uh, Fusion GPS's Glenn, Glenn Simpson. Let's continue reading this nonsense. F uh, former top intelligence, uh, former top Russian intelligence officials uh, claim FSB has compromised Trump through his activities in Moscow sufficiently to be able to blackmail him. Where's the evidence of this? And who presided over a uranium sale? Democrats or Republicans? What they are guilty of everything they, they project. They just want to project. That's all they do is project. Really, that's all they do is just project, project, project. They use a CNN report. Christopher Steele uses CNN to justify his fake news. He, he uses fake news to justify fake news. Which he fabricated. And you have not only... You not only have Repu Democrats, but you also have Republicans. John McCain. John McCain and the dossier. Trump, last in his class, McCain gave dossier to FBI media to undermine White House bid. President Trump said Sunday the late Senator John McCain gave the controversial dossier to the FBI and media, hoping it would be printed before the election in an attempt to work with Democrats to defeat Mr. Trump in 2016. Mr. Trump has denied the information detailed in the unverified and salacious dossier is accurate. Where is the salacious dossier on Clinton? Oh, I, I, there's actually a book called Clinton Cash by Peter Schweitzer. There's actually <clears throat> mounds and heaps and mountains of Judicial Watch evidence. There's testimony from William D. Campbell, an FBI informant. There's whistleblower testimony, all regarding the Clinton Foundation. There's all this information. According to several reports, McCain didn't hand over the dossier to the FBI until after the 2016 election in December. Who cares when he did? The fact he did is a big problem. It was circulated to the media through one of McCain's aides, David Kramer, after the election. Who cares? That's still... That's still... Uh, dirty and underhanded. You know very well. McCain knew, everyone knows, everyone knew that a dossier that was... If, first of all, look, it's not a dossier. Like the toilet paper that you will use today is more um, valuable in terms of intelligence than the Steele dossier. So he was not only dealing with Democrats, he's dealing with Republicans. You have to understand, this is, this is something where only Trump, there's only one person in the United States of America. First of all, Bernie Sanders. I mean, Bernie is like, could you imagine that Beto O'Rourke with his buffing and waxing and scrubbing and his poetry? You don't have to buff or wax or do anything for me. Just vote for me. Oh. I was cheated? Okay. Vote for Hillary. She's running again, by the way. So don't be surprised. when she. You know who said he wasn't going to run? Beto O'Rourke. And he ran. You know who said she wasn't going to run a million times in 08 and 2016? Hillary. And she didn't even say she wasn't running. She said she was waiting until the, to, 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 to see the Mueller report. I mean, after all, she purchased it. She purchased her own steel dossier. I mean, her yeah, she purchased the steel dossier, but she, he, she purchased her own Russian hacking myth. But who do they have? Beto O'Rourke is done. Done. Kamala Harris does not have support in any uh, constituent within the Democratic Party. And she doesn't even have tremendous support within the black community. Elizabeth Warren failed her DNA test. Amy Klobuchar um, eats salad with a comb, which is nasty and disgusting. Nobody does that, and it's nasty. And you cannot have a president who does that. Who else do you have? What other winners? Biden is praying to God that Hillary runs so he doesn't have to. There's Biden does not want to run, people. Okay, here's a little news flash. Joe Biden does not want to run. He wants to just relax. He's been um, flying everywhere throughout the planet. And, and, and he was vice president for eight years under President Obama. He does not need to run, nor will he. does he have a chance to win. He has no chance to raise as much money as Hillary Clinton. He has no chance to win the left 
the, the, the base of the left that is the uh, justice warrior, um, ID politics, uh, oh my God, you said this, but it's okay if Clinton says this, no problem, uh, faction and wing. Clinton, on the other hand, has enough support throughout every single constituency, um, constituent group, demographic, every single aspect of the Democratic Party revolves around Madam Secretary, even to this day, okay? She represents political power and influence. She will run. She's not, just because you think it's absurd if you're watching this channel, as do I, you're discounting the quest for power and influence. Why would you discount that? She's going to run and she's just going to wait until everyone pulls up Beto O'Rourke and Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren. It takes, look, Kamala Harris and Hales, big deal, no problem. It, that's not something to be like so proud of. Not a big deal. Okay, that was Spartacus. What else? Uh, who else do we have? Kristen Gillenbrand. I mean, is she even running? Who knows? Did, is Kristen Gillen? Yeah, I guess she's running. Does anyone? Kristen Gillenbrand. She enters the race eight hours ago today. Officially enters. Nobody cares. Absolutely nobody cares. She, I, I didn't even know it was today she entered the race. Nobody cares about Kristen Gillenbrand. Even Kristen Gillenbrand's staff doesn't even care about her campaign. Okay, let's look at who is going to... First of all, it's a money-making endeavor for Democrats. And the Steele dossier, two years of campaign finance violations... You have all of this. The FBI used the Steele dossier, used, basically used CNN research to investigate Trump. That's, and, 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 you, and you wonder who's going to run again in 2020. All of this was purchased and paid for and, and bought by you-know-who. Why aren't I 50 points ahead? <laughs> You're going to hear it again, but it's going to be new, it's going to be fresh, it's going to be vibrant, it's going to be awesome, it's going to be wonderful, and you're going to love it. If you're a Democrat, you're going to be like, how dare you say this? This is Twitter. This is Demo this is, these are people on the left on Twitter. How dare you say this? How dare you say that? How dare you say this? Oh, you're morally inferior. Hillary's running again? Oh, no. Okay, I'll vote for her. They're the biggest hypocrites on the planet in Everybody you know on YouTube that pontificates, that has major uh, 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 platforms on YouTube on the left, all your favorite YouTube celebrities on the left, the morality police will vote for Hillary and tell you to vote for Hillary. I don't care if they pl claim to be Bernie Sanders supporters. I don't care. I don't care. The only real Bernie Sanders supporters were people who didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. And anyway, I explain in my Federalist article why Bernie Sanders uh, supporters should vote Trump 2020. But nobody cares. Kristen Gillenbrand entered the race. Who cares? Big deal. Amy Klobuchar eats a salad disgusting with, with, with a comb. How do you even... That is disgusting. How would you even do that? That's nasty. That is so nasty. How do you eat salad with a comb? Clinton is simply waiting. She never said she was not going to run, everyone. Okay? She never said she was not going to run. What she said was, well, first of all, the, the, the interviewer asked her, do you promise 100,000% you will never run? And then they panned over her answer, which was a long diatribe of nothing, doublespeak. And then they said, for the first time ever, she's not going to run. And then, she's, he, then she goes, I'm not running. I'm not running. Per, right now, I'm not running. She didn't say, I will not run. She didn't say, I, I, you know, I will not, I will not run for president. And anyway, even if she did, don't believe her. But the point is, Beto O'Rourke, Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, Amy Klobuchar, Kristen Gillenbrand, Joe Biden, even if he runs, even if he announces, he has no intention of winning. He's just going to pave the way for Hillary. 
They're all paving the way. They have to have some enthusiasm. They don't even have a political party. They're like, it's a tent. It's a tent. It's a tent full of people that are uh, cutthroat and backstabbing and hate each other. It's not a coalition. It's a bunch of people who can't stand one another, who insult one another on Twitter every single day. That's why I left Twitter. I mean, I'm not on the left, but like, Twitter is a... Like, in the afterlife, if when you find out where if you're going to go to a place without air conditioning or a place that's really happy and wonderful, you probably end up in Twitter first. Then you, then you, or if you're going, if you're, if you're descending down a bit, you're, you're probably, the, the beginning stage is Twitter. It's like Dante's Inferno should have had Twitter. It's the worst. It's horrible. Horrendous. If you just, it's just neg- negativity. That's it. Like in the in 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 um in Ghostbusters, remember the slime that would bubble up with negativity? I mean Twitter could just power all those bubbles forever. It's just a platform for negativity and hate and anger and frustration and vin- v- vindictiveness and spite and malice. That's it. That's it. That's all what Twitter is, which is perfect for the Democratic Party. Without that you wouldn't have the Democratic Party. Um, But I just, I find it very, what makes anyone think that Clinton won't run again? Because she can't win? Well, nobody else can win. Because she's too old, she's younger than Biden, she's younger than Trump, and she's younger than Bernie. Well, because of fundraising, she would easily out-fundraise anyone, blow them out of the water in terms of fundraising. And she'll probably raise more than $1.2 billion. When she announces eventually, just remember I told you, uh, and when she gets indicted eventually, before or after <laughs> the election, remember I told you also, I said she would lose in 2016. She lost. I said the Steele dossier and the Mueller probe and all of it was nonsense. It was. I'm telling you. Anyway, hit subscribe right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is really bizarre. She 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 essentially got the CNN. She she essentially got FBI to the FBI to use CNN research to investigate Trump. That's. What, if you listen to Christopher Steele, that's what he says. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Share this segment every.